So often on workshops, people ask me what's in my bag. And night photography is not really all that different than daytime photography, but there's a few things that you're gonna need. First of all, flashlights and a couple of different kinds of flashlights. So one of the most valuable pieces is the headlamp. The headlamp itself, you're gonna be able to navigate around. Uh, it's gonna keep you from falling in holes or over cliffs like we have here. For the light painters and light writers out there, you've gotta have some good flashlights. Um, you can see that these are gelled. Um, these are special gels that I've uh, put together to correct for the color of the light. And these are Coast. These are awesome flashlights. I love them. I couldn't do without them. Extra batteries are so important, you guys. Shooting at night really drains the batteries. You want to make sure you've got several on hand just in case you run out. Now, in addition to my regular flashlights, one of my favorite things in the bag is this Luxley. This is the most awesome tool for people that like to light paint. It allows you to control the brightness of the light. That's fantastic, much different than many of our other flashlight accessories. And it also allows you to change the color from warm to cool. And of course, the camera. The most important thing about the camera is that it's got good noise properties. And there's many, many different brands of cameras and many types of cameras that are gonna work great for nighttime photography. There's not one brand that's absolutely awesome. However, I do use Nikon and I love it. Um, What's really important though is the lenses. For nighttime photography, we're gonna to tend towards our wider lenses. So you can see here I'm using a 24 to 70 lens. This is a great all around lens for shooting uh, regular daytime photography. But I also have my 14 to 24, which is my real workhorse. It's an exceedingly sharp lens. Um, it's a fixed aperture of 2.8, and it really allows you to include the whole night sky. Last of all, we've got our cable release. Tough to be a night photographer without a cable release. It's absolutely mandatory. There's lots of types on the market, um, but I really like these intervalometers. They allow us to set uh, individual times and for the type of photography that we're gonna be doing tonight, and it takes care of it all for you. So you plug it in, you set it up, and uh, once you're finished with that, you hit the go button and you're set. You let your camera sit and cook for 20 minutes, half an hour, or even an hour long to catch those star trails. So as you can see, there's not a lot of different equipment that we need for nighttime photography, but that's it. A couple of lenses, a cable release, some flashlights, and you're ready to go.